despite um, being an advocate for the campaign, I also wanted to be a part of it to help my self-esteem and confidence um, behind the camera and to see that as an end product advocating for a good cause. So I got involved in the Rethink the Drink campaign because it's a super important issue um, that affects our community. Um, in Australia, we've been known to be one of the uh, drunken nations and I think it's important for this image to be changed. In Australia, a lot of socialising, um, particularly, you know, in queer communities, can involve drinking or be centred around drinking and that hadn't really been fitting in with my other goals in life. Sports is incredibly important in my life um, and I think a lot of queer people who play sport often think um, that substances need to be consumed in order to have fun. The reason I wanted to get involved in the Rethink the Drink campaign is because it's something that's really special to me. Um, I think society and in, particularly in queer spaces we're all just kind of um, you know targeted towards that you can only have fun, uh, you know, if alcohol's involved. And I love sport and I love the way that it brings everyone together. So I want to bring those two passion areas together and be part of their campaign. It's been nothing but welcoming um, to be able to be um, participating in a larger body in a synchronised swimming group. So um, I really think it was important to um, have that represented in the Rethink the Drink campaign. I love the physicality of it. Um, I love that there's a place in the sport for all genders, all body types, all body shapes. Um, I do love soccer um, because you have the freedom of expression to move your body and release tension. I love that we're a bunch of everyday people who come together with this shared passion of creating silly, art um, that challenges cisgender, heterosexual, patriarchal understandings of what bodies and movement and performance should be. It has given me so much in terms of my life, uh, in terms of leadership qualities work that I've, that I've taken into my work. It's a fast, dynamic, high scoring game. And after sort of a long day of being working remotely from work or just having a bad day, there's nothing that's quite like a good sweat session and then the socialising afterwards. A lot of things. <laughs> Remember all of the choreography? I definitely couldn't play a game of AFL. Um, I don't think I could play uh, a quarter of AFL. Run up and down the field with a lacrosse stick and try to also catch a ball. That would be too much. I wouldn't be able to wake up and feed my cats in the morning. And that wouldn't be a good thing. Could not train with a hangover. I've attempted it, it doesn't work. So moderate drinking is the way to go for me. I think the next time they decide to order the extra glass of champagne, beer, spirit is to really rethink do you need that additional glass you do not have to completely give up drinking if you don't want to it's not what it's about um, this is more about finding some moderation and being able to drink in a way that really serves you it's really bloody hard to play a sport when you're hungover or drunk healthy bodies and sporty bodies don't look a particular way I hope that it's really empowering this campaign for, for people that um, maybe, you know, uh, thinking of better ways and, and healthier ways and habits. Uh, I think it's really important post uh, this pandemic. I'm speaking as somebody that is also type 1 diabetic. Um, so it's very important to keep on top of your health. Um, I know that in my past I've seen both physical and mental health decline. What I'd love for people to take away from this campaign is that there's, you know, more social opportunities and more ways that we can connect with each other in the LGBTQ community, uh, you know, that doesn't require drinking. Couldn't do that with a hangover. 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 <laughs>